Hello. Welcome to Texas on Tap with Miss Helen, along with producer Kyle, going into the Labor Day weekend, the official, unofficial end of summer. Oh, my gosh. Can you even believe? Oh, yeah, I can believe this. This last few months has been uh, kind of dragging for me. I think it's been a little slower than usual this time of year, but uh, it's about to get crazy. But also this weekend, I'm going to be down in your neck of the woods. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be raining, but still close to you. And I'm excited about that. Where? Uh, we're going to Port A, so not super close, oh, but yeah. kind of close. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fun. Even if it's raining on a, in a coastal town like Port A, there's always something to do. I oh, mean, my there's God. There's always something to see. People watch, just like. I mean, yeah. one of my favorite things is, this is ridiculous, but sitting on the porch at the beach house with a hoodie on when it's raining and kind of chilly outside, yes. that's like my yes. happy place. That that is it. That I totally agree with that. Totally. Speaking of the rain, I well, you know, my morning's been busy, and uh, yeah, we've got some showers coming in. And I thought I was gonna get all the groceries carried up because you don't gotta walk a half mile to get stuff up to my condo. And it was like soon as I started organizing, because you know how you grab all the bags and try to carry like twenty at a time. Oh yeah. <laughs> soon as I got them organized on my arms, here comes the rain. So anyway, yeah. Oh no. Cool. Cool. Well, so it was well, worth it to grab them all. <laughs> yeah, no, I still had to make two trips. It was funny. Oh, God. See me. Anyway, okay, so, okay, I'm going to start off with this. So oh. Monday, I'm sitting and I'm, I'm doing some work and I was actually just like on my little iPad or whatever. And it sounded like a slot machine. It was like, you know how your emails go off? It was like, bing. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. I mean, I was like, is there some kind of group email like that maybe we're in? I need to check on. Yeah. And I opened it up and there is a oh my gosh, it was a ton of amazing radio releases that came out this past week. So um I did narrow it down to two. I have a lot to mention. Do you want me just to go ahead and first with my picks? Yeah, I'll I'll add same thing with streaming. There's I've got more honorable mentions this week than ever, I think. So uh -huh. yeah, go ahead and get us started with radio. I know, it's so fun. And I'm so proud of uh, both of these uh, young men, gentlemen, guys, cool dudes that I'm fixing to talk about. Um, first of all, John Swat Swatner, he has a new single out. It's called Cowgirl. And I've always been in admiration of his music and just as a person, I love him to death. And he comes from a great family. And of course, he's his roots now are in Austin County. Um, so many good lyrics in here. And basically, love's just like a rodeo. And it's all about the cowgirl, something about your cowgirl painted on jeans. And then there's just so many like the when you touch me, it feels like thunder. And I don't know. Anyway, lyrically, it's amazing. His voice is spot on, very controlled. The production is good. Um, it's just a great cowgirl country song. So congratulations, John Swat Swatner. Thumbs up. Love that one. And now we're going to open the tap room door for Matt Castillo. Get ready for this one. It's called Pain and Sorrow. Wow, what'd you think, Matt Castillo? I just, it's like a toe tapping, dance hall dancing, ride the back roads. And you know, he, he's done so much just in two and a half years. He's already had multiple number ones. He just keeps gaining bookings and shows and, and, and sharing the stage with major artists. And, you know, all in all, we both love Matt. Uh, mm -hmm. That one right there just takes you back. Great song. So that is Out to Radio, Pain and Sorrow, Matt Castillo. Now, some other ones I'm going to mention real quick. Ryder Grimes has one, one more ride, spot on, five stars. Then I ran across this new radio release. His name is Joe Allen Christie, and this was so in my wheelhouse. It's called Bonfires and Strawberry Wine. Jenny Del Lord has a new um, radio release out, Dinner and a Heartbreak. Deanna Campbell, Back Porch, another one that kind of tugged at me. And then just today, we just visited with our girl, Courtney Patton, and uh, Wesley, Hannah, Courtney Patton have teamed up for Life in three, four time. Um, it's good. We may have to tap on that one next week. So yeah, mm. it's uh, radio programmers. Are you just loving this? I mean, oh my gosh, I just had my ears on just going through. And I guess it is like, even though, you know, it is Labor Day before you know it, the holiday music's going to be on and, and things just kind of change and switch. So I guess everybody's getting that last uh, 2024 radio release out. Yeah. 
I think it's about that time for sure. And then switching things over to streaming, like I said, it's the exact same thing. So many songs to choose from. I also think this week was one of the hardest that I can remember since we started this thing, choosing my taproom song. So I'm going to kick it off. We'll keep the taproom doors open. Uh, Very consistent feature and guest of the show, Mr. Jared Morris. This is his brand new song out to streaming today. It's called Altitude. I want to say this is a brand new chapter in Jared's career, but we know that he's ever evolving. He's ever experimenting. So it's probably not. This is just a great (laughs) song that he put out and who knows what's to come next, you know, and that's one of the things that we love about him. But um, he would probably hate that I'm going to say this, but it gives me like super mega mainstream vibes, which I love. If you're a listener of the show, you know that I love that. Um, And I say that he would hate it because he's more of an experimental kind of like, you know, self-proclaimed lone wolf kind of guy. But I get like Noah Khan, Lumineers, and it's awesome. So I actually reached out, asked him what the story was. He said he spent most of last summer up in the mountains and he just had to write the song. So it totally makes sense. You know, it's it's quirky. It's got this like just personality on full display. And I love it. I think it's it's a fantastic song. Huge dynamic range. And it's interesting that he brought up the mountains. I'm glad you found out because the first thing I thought was nature. Um, and then, of course, the sound and, and you kind of nailed it. But God, he's just so good. I could just I mean, that's just such a pure song. Absolutely. All right. Moving on. Uh, last up this week, Mr. William Beckman is making a huge splash. He's uh, I'm, I'm sensing something massive on the horizon, as we've probably all seen at this point. He just signed his first major label record deal, which is fantastic. And he dropped a new streaming today called Not That Strong. Uh, William has this way of making all of his songs just feel so familiar. It just, you feel like warm and cozy and comfortable listening to his songs. Like, like it's a, like a, like your favorite blanket almost, you know, it's so visual and there's so much imagery in the song. And um, you know, it's just, it's got that nostalgic eighties, nineties country feel and uh, just an awesome song, super great chorus. Everything about it was, was top notch. Yes. And in the beginning, I kind of had some Gary Stewart vibes kind of going into that. Oh, but yeah. yeah. I love, but I love it. Love me some William Beckman. Everybody needs some William Beckman music in their life. <laughs> Absolutely. And then speaking of all the extra streaming releases, we got uh, Trent Cowie dropped his third single from his upcoming album. And by the way, if you're not uh, planning already this weekend, go head out to uh, District 249 in Tomball and catch the album release show featuring Trent and other previous guests of the show. Uh, Garrison Nunn, uh, who else is on there? I know Hannah Kay is on the show and Kate Watson. So it's going to be awesome. Kate Watson, yes. And also, and you can get your pre-sale tickets in advance at his, oh, what do you name his his ticket company? Cow Farm Tickets. Cow Farm Tickets. Look at Trent. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Happy birthday, Trent. I know he turned 30. Yeah. Old man. (laughs) No, just a baby to me. But yeah, happy birthday, Trent. So Where uh, were we? Also. Well, I was going to say there's a couple more. Joint Custody dropped a new single today. Corey Michael dropped a new single. That's super awesome earlier this week. And Tanner Sparks dropped one as well. Just to name a few. There's so many streaming releases this week. So go out and find some new songs. And if you guys uh, know about new songs that we didn't mention, please send them our way so that we can check them out. And let's talk about our friends over at More Than Music Creations before we jump into the charts and everything else that's going on this week. That's what I was looking. This is hot off the presses. I just, you know, I told y'all to subscribe to their emails and you'll be in the know. So this is hot off the press, y'all. I'm just opening the email. I just saw it come across. Free shipping, limited time only Any on any orders over $30. They have a promo code. And, uh, oh, look at these fall leaves. Oh, oh man. wow. Hang on, we'll go shopping. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's the bracelet. Okay, yeah, more than music creations. And, of course, we tell the story about them, um, the artists, that they have different selections and lines from, like, Brie Bagwell. Who else is on there? I'm, I'm like, oh, man. Oh. Wilder Blue. Yes, Pat yes, Green. yes. We have Texas oh, yeah. Toast Podcast um, line. And uh, we have nice artists that donate their strings to us. And then, but the other artists, like Breeze Line, Jade Marie Patek, um, They get the guitar strings and Michaela works her magic and she's constantly creating and coming up with one of a kind designs. You're not going to find this stuff anywhere else. And they turn around and make it all good working with the kids in foster care and bringing music into their lives. And everybody knows that music kills. So it's such a great thing. More than music creations.com subscribe to the email. Like I have. 
Have you ever wondered how artists like Treaty Oak Revival, Red Clay Strays, and Aaron Watson maintain the high quality and high demand for their merchandise? CH Lone Star Promo is the answer. Created in Texas to serve Texas artists, and they're currently offering 15% off on all merch orders from musicians. Visit chlonestarpromo.com to get started and tell them Texas Toast sent you. I was reading the other day that it takes at least $1 million to break an artist. That's a ton of change, and it can feel overwhelming. But with social media leveling the playing field, you just need an effective strategy to release your music. Check out Release Rocket to ensure your single does not die after release day. You've already put time, effort, and tons of money into writing and recording your album. Let the guys at Release Rocket keep your new release alive. Okay, what's popping and topping on the charts? What is popping and topping? don't know where i'm going bear with me okay oh 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 this is so exciting okay so texas country music chart debuting at 87 this week is drum roll bubba wesley feels so good oh, i'm so proud of bubba yeah. also in my email box another thing that just popped up and everyone go check out his video that just dropped for feels so good so yeah, make sure you check the video out. Uh, most added this week, Hayden Haddock is doing really good with his Front Porch in the Rain song. Uh, Chad Cook Band, Smoke and Mirrors. They had some of the most ads along with Aaron Watson and his new song. And so moving on down, let's see who's number one. Oh, that was the other thing. Bubba Wesley is also Song of the Week on the Texas Country Music Chart this week. And coming up from number four to number one on the Texas Country Music Chart, you're going to love this, Kyle. William Clark Green with Whole Lot of Love. Yeah. Look, looking at the Texas Regional Not Radio surprising. Report. Yeah. Curtis Grimes is up to, he took number one with God's Doing, such a gorgeous song, and CD Extraction Texas, Randy Rogers, and Wade Bowen. All I want to do is drink. I listen to this song all the time. Um, it continued at number one for this week. And that's kind of like what's popping and topping on the charts. But honestly, it's like Bubba Wesley. And oh, man, good job. That's a good song. He's got a mm -hmm. lot of great stuff going on. And again, out there working, waiting on the new mm -hmm. baby. So can't wait to catch up with Bubba. We'll catch up with him in November, if not before. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so mm -hmm. what you got? Well, I know you've got a busy weekend with the kiddos coming into town, and I've got a relaxing weekend coming up. I was thinking about my schedule ahead. Uh, I just said it's about to get crazier, and it is because of all the events and stuff. But uh, my show schedule is actually lightening up a little bit, and that's kind of intentional because at the end of September, I've got a big show. I'm going to be playing with my buddy Clay Melton at Last Concert Cafe in Houston. It's uh, September 27th, and tickets are on sale now, so you can go get pre-sale tickets for a couple bucks cheaper if you want to come out. But uh, that one's going to be my CD release show, which, you know, that's a big deal for me because I've been working on awesome. that for a long, yes, a long time. Yes. So, yeah, I've put out uh, five songs already this year, and that's going to be the full EP release. Uh, it's entitled Heartbreak Motel, and that song comes out on that day. So cool stuff. I'm sure we'll talk about that song. Congratulations. Uh, on... <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk about that one on here whenever that comes. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I've got a few shows between now and then. I'm, I'm playing tonight at a place for the first time up in North Austin called Slackers Brewery, so that should be a good time. Um, I otherwise... like the name of that. I should, that sounds like my kind of place. That is perfect for me. <laughs> Slackers Brewery. Yeah, I kind of think yeah, I was gonna wondering be... if that's... <laughs> I have no time to slack, but I might become a slacker during the fall. You Or you at least want to be. Yeah, for sure. I wonder, I I wonder like what that. that's... Yeah, hopefully I there's some slackers that. there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sorry. No, you're good. I uh, I don't know what else is going on. Like we said, Trent's big show is this weekend at District 249, so you can go do that. Um, I saw they had a, a discount code on tickets online today. That might be today only. Uh, sorry, this is Thursday, so it, it might not be a deal whenever you're listening to this, but maybe go check it out and see if you can still get some discounted tickets. Um, otherwise I'm sure there's still plenty of GA tickets available at the door. And if you've never been to district 249, it's an awesome place. It's like a huge country dance hall, massive stage, uh, massive dance, uh, dance floor right in the middle of the room. It's really cool setup. So go check that out. Um, otherwise, man, it's like the award show is on the horizon. Uh, oh yes, else? it is. All kinds I'm of so cool excited. Stuff. Oh, I we know. can talk about upcoming guests. We've got, uh, oh man, who did we have? Shelby Stone. How cool was that? Oh, gosh. Are y'all in love with Shelby Stone? Come on, let us know. Show her some love. Download that podcast and get to know her if you don't know, because she is something special. She's such a jewel. Oh, 
love her, love her. And, and again, the reason why we love this podcast is because of stories like hers. Mm. Hers is just, it's so good. And then, oh my gosh. And then the great visit we had with Courtney Patton. I've been wanting Courtney on for so long. Finally got to talk with her and she's got a lot of amazing things working. And mm. um, after the first of the year, she'll be coming back on. So just tune in, take a listen, get in the know. And um, yeah. All kinds of cool stuff. And then, the uh, down the schedule, looking down the schedule a little bit, we got some other cool people coming up, like Helen wished. Uh, we've got Love and Chaos rejoining us on the show to talk about their brand new album. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And yes, then and if you haven't listened to the new album, you got to put that on your list for Labor Day, listening Labor Day yeah, tunes. Absolutely. I ended up getting to listen through it all the way this week, and it is pretty spectacular. Like Love it, one yes. of one of the better well pieced together albums. I mean, it, it only makes sense, you know, Kendall's so talented, but, but AJ is like, you know, the all around musician, producer, entertainer. Mm -hmm. He's, he's one of the more experienced people in the music industry that I've ever met. So it only makes sense that it's that good. It's, it's um, awesome. And then just to name a few others, we got Cody Hibbard coming up down the road, which is going to be fun. We just talked to him, but we're going to get him back in to talk after the album release. And then Connor Stevens, who we've been looking forward to for having on for a long time. He's got a new album that just dropped a few weeks back. So go check that out leading up to this interview with him. And then we've got William Beckman coming up down the road as well. So stay tuned and check it out. It's been a while since yeah, we've talked then, to William. And, then, and I don't know if you've talked to him yet. He doesn't know. So Jim Nash, we're coming for you because Jim and I are going to team up oh, since yeah. we both co-host on the red carpet at the tcma awards so we're going to team up and do a little miss helen and nash a uh, little mashup about the awards and discuss it he's always so fun i love working mm -hmm. with him such a cool Absolutely. guy and doing su and doing such great work in beadville so anyway yeah a lot of fun stuff coming up and yeah enjoy your labor day be safe everyone yeah Hopefully you've got some cool weather wherever you are with this rain and hopefully you mm -hmm. get to get outside and do some stuff, but if not, enjoy the, enjoy the rain. We, we probably need it. Yes. 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 Kind of, kind of makes things kind of nice and a little more laid back and relaxed. Yeah. Like you said, Absolutely. sit on the deck, sit on the front porch, back porch, listen to the rain and listen to uh, some good Texas music and get out to a live mm -hmm. show. Also, if it's raining, go on out to a show some of your favorite dance halls and maybe you can go to slackers brewery too <laughs> yeah come on out I love that place i love that place uh, <laughs> I, love, um, I gotta and, find it i was gonna in the word in the wise words of of rich o'toole get you a breakfast taco and some texas and country <laughs> music this week yeah, some, yeah i know right oh you know i haven't mentioned i i shame on me i did listen to his new album also when it mm. first came out and it's a good one rich I've been meaning, you know, job. it's so bad. I've been meaning to, to like send him a, a little note to let him know how good it is, but he and I eventually always catch up. So that's a good one. Yeah. Too. Did you notice that he, so we had him on the, the live show that we did at do, -Si -Do and mm -hmm. he had a name for the album and he ended up changing it. So I'd be curious to hear what the thought process was there. Maybe we I need think, to get him back in again. Yeah, we probably do. That was actually on my mind, believe it or not. See, this is how this works, people. Are you seeing it? We hadn't even talked <laughs> about this. I actually had that on my mind. I was going to run that by you. So, okay, done. Rich, we're coming for you also. Yep. Who else All do you right. want to throw out there? Expect another Rich interview here in the next couple of weeks. I love it. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Well, have a good weekend, everybody. Enjoy your holiday. Thanks for listening. Keep keep loving we've gotten like a, a bunch of response i know that a lot of you enjoyed the daryl dot episode so if you're new here from that episode thank you for continuing to hang out and listen and get to know us and hopefully you enjoy um what's to come and tell a friend yes please please thank you cheers cheers